Hi, good morning, guys, and thanks for joining me. So the demarketing of Bola Metinubu have started already in the north. Yes. Now, I showed you how influencers are going about singing, how um they will not be swayed again by their clerics. They will not allow anybody to determine who they vote, that they have deceived them with religion enough and, you know, they now want to vote competence and not anybody coming to tell them that this person is from your tribe or this person is practicing your religion. Now, as they are doing this, now, northern leaders, the elders now are going from studio to studio, speaking in the language of the people, of their northern people, and telling them the massive corruption that is going on under Tinubu and went on under Buhari. Now they are demarketing both Tinubu and APC against 2027. Now the latest person was um, Professor Usma Yusuf, the former NHIS boss under Buhari. He has come out to say that Buhari was only a deceiver. That the massive corruption that was going on under, under his nose, he knew about it and he didn't do anything about it. He said on several occasions he went to him to report issues of you know, these corruptions that are happening and the man, you know, turned a blind eye. And now Tinubu has taken over, putting his boys from Lagos all over the place now, so that what goes out and comes in, nobody is aware of it. That massive corruption is going on under Tinubu. Now, he said this in Hausa language because, you know, that is the language they can use to reach a very massive audience in the north. I'm going to be showing you that video of uh, Professor Osman Yusuf. I just gave you a summary of what he said. But before I do that, let me quickly show you what News Central said about the ongoing, you know, the, the government in power. Let me show you what the message they have for Nigerians and the government. Watch how we'll come back. We'll continue. And so this morning, I want Nigerians to understand that we all need a country that works. And if the government is not working tirelessly to fix our country or laying the foundations for a better country in the future, then that government is wasting your precious time. And many, many, many people and businesses didn't make it through Mohamed Buhari's government. And for those who did, the only opportunity to try again came after eight whole years. Now, for the average Nigerian, bad governance is more than just policy failures. It is a personal betrayal of those who voted and those who hoped. It is the theft of your time, which is your most irretrievable asset. And Nigerians don't have time to waste while politicians enrich themselves at the expense of your time. I'll end with a plea this morning to Nigerians. It's important to be reminded that while you support an ineffective government because of tribe or religion, that government would only waste eight years that you would never get back. And to the political class, be reminded that there's millions of people whose life's trajectory is very dependent on your actions in office. Nigerians can't force you to cherish their time. But please, don't waste the time of those citizens just to enrich yourself. If you can't do the job, please leave and don't waste our time. Good morning, Nigeria. All right, welcome back, guys. I guess you saw it. So that is the guy we said we call the second Rufai because some of the guy have been firing on all cylinders, speaking truth to power. And I urge him, you know, to continue that way. The truth is that these people are wasting our time. That is just the fact. Eight years wasted. Buhari eight years was wasted time. And now this man have come to waste our time again. It's up to Nigerians to know what to do about these people. Now, having said that, let me show you what uh, Professor Usman Yusuf said in the studio about the massive corruption going on under Bo went on under Buhari and is going on under Tinubu. And when we come back, we'll wrap up. Please watch. The President Muhammad Buhari, how one now? When they order the shitafi to go up, Zaka Yoda, Rijama, Zaka Yoda, Allah, Yoda, I call it, I keep the Russia, Yoda, I check out. Gamutum Boroboru, Nina Sani, then I Aiki, I NHIS low kitchen. Yaki Naki, I NHIS. But I can lake it away, Kane, but I'll get the Kiki Yaka Sata. Kumanaga, I'm a manya manya, I'm gomnetish. I'm gomnetish, you go like a Samahamadu. 
President Muhammad Buhari din na samu zama da shi tun na nuna ba shi ne eh amma shine shugaba shi ya bani wannan aikin saboda haka ba da gaske yake ba tunda farko yau dara ce kawai ya ce zai yaki zai yaki cin hanci da rashawa Allah shi wannan da yazo bai wannan yau dara ba ya ce zai yaki cin hanci da rashawa ya ce dai zai ci gaba inda wannan ya fara saboda haka inda wannan ya ga inda president Muhammad Buhari ya gama saboda haka gashi yana duk inda kudi ke shiga da inda kudi ke fita duk yaran shi ne mutanen Lagos saboda haka babu wanda ya san abin da yake shiga babu wanda ya sa abin da ke fita kuma duk wanda aka kama shi fa babu wani shi wai ya kai ka kotu ya daure a a a in ka duba EFCC yanzu wai ba su kai mutun kotu ba a a abin da suke abin da ga abin da za a samu a rayar da ba tsakanin su dan babu wani da za a ce mana EFCC ta kama shi sun karbo biliyan kaza kaza an maida wannan kudin cikin baitul malin kasa duk bacewa suke tsakanin su saboda haka ba gaskiya ake ba yaudara kawai yaudara mutane ake kuma gobe kiyama Allah zai tambaye su dukan su amma yaudara nan da zalincin nan da ake yi shi ya hadda samu cikin wannan 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 wahala da muke ciki amma ko da yake FCC ba ta fito ta bayyana wa mutanen kasa kudaden da take karbowa gurin waɗanda ake masalaha da su mamakon a ta shari'a suna fitowa ko ana zargin suna fitowa da tsarin ba ni gishi in ma ka banda ka wato a rage abun da ka tabar gazo sai a ba da wani abu a gwamnati wani abu a bar maka domin a yi sulu a yi masalaha akwai hujja a zargi cewa ba a sa wadannan kudi a susun gwamnati kuwa a zahiri ba wai magana ce ta zargi ba kai da wasu yan kasa ke cewa rarrabo ake kashe mu raba ake tsakanin jami'ai ko kuma akan mu hukunta kasa to dai to ai yanzu demokrasiya ne ba lokacin soja bane ba lokacin soja bane komai akai muna son mu ga gwamnati karara a bude mana ga abin da aka samu ga abin da akai da shi me yasa kudin kudin da aka ce an samu na abace daga waje za a shigo da shi turawan da aka kawo da aka kawo kudin daga wurin ba su bada ba sai an gaya musu yadda za a yi kudin dan su san dusa cewa za a yi wannan bincike da aka sa da president Bola Ahmed Tinubu yasa ya binciki tsohon gwamnatin babban bankin Najeriya sai MFLA ai shi yasa ya bincika kuma bai ma kowa magana sai ya zo ya gaya mai shi haka ake ina mutanen mu da muka aika a majalisa national assembly su ya kamata su wannan binciken su wakilce mu ko su gaya mana su ya kamata su binciken ba president ba ya kamata ya sa wani dan committee wanda zai binciko abin da zai binciko kuma shi kawai zai magana ko ba za a yi jama'a magana ba wannan kudin mu ne wa kudin president Bola Ahmed Tinubu ne ko a Kwabiyo su ya kamata su bincika don su muka aika su wakilce mu amma ba su wakilta mu sun zauna kawai duk abin da president Bola Ahmed Tinubu ya ce musu sai su ce ya ranka ne mun yadda dan me dan ya ba su abin da muka gani ya ba su ba zargi bane mun gani ba kasafin kudin da aka ba yan majalisa na shekara 2024 duka biliyan 197 in ka hada duk abin da aka ba jami'o'in gwamnatin tarayya a Najeriya guda 25 yayi mashi linkin ba linkin kuma President Bola Ahmed Tinubu nawa ya ba jihohi 36 tallafi biliyan 2222 ko su tallafi gwamnoni 36 in kai multiplying din shi da 22 wato duka ya ba su biliyan 72 cewa su ba su ba mutane tallafi amma nawa ya ba yan majalisa su so motoci biliyan 72 saboda haka abin da ya ba yan majalisa su sawo motoci ya fi abin da ya ba gwamnoni su sawo mutane hatsi mutane miliyan 20 miliyan 200 saboda haka ni da wana ce shugaba kasa Bola Ahmed Tinubu mutane biyar kawai ya damu da su shi yasa yake na farko yan majalisa ya sa kake ganin ba yan majalisa da yake fitowa ya magana wahalar da jama'a shike ciki in ma sun je gida dan an ba su biliyo ya su sai motoci biliyo ya su yi kaza su yi kaza su yi kaza na biyu gwamnoni 
dan wannan cire tallafin da yayi gwamnati kudin da suke samu duk wata yayi ninkin ba ninkin shi yasa baka jin gwamnati ko daya yana magana na uku masu wakan nan masu ya bashi har yanzu dan su dauke hankalin yara daga wahalar da ake ciki na hudu malaman nan da suka goyi bayan muslim muslim ana ta basu kudi baka jin kowa yana magana abin da nake ga malamai Allah ya haramta ma kanshi zalunci kuma ga zalunci suna gani karara an sa mana yunwa a kasan nan cikin wannan shekara daya sana a ce ba za ku fito ku yi magana ba malamai ba za ku fito ku yi magana ba na hudu kenan ko na biyar jami'an tsoro yana zata in ya ta basu zabe in ya basu kudi komai suke so za su kare shi daga daga fushin jama'a to da ka mutane biyar bai damu da jama'a ba bai damu da jama'a ba yeah, right, welcome back guys i guess you saw it now like i said he decided to use hausa language so that they will reach most of their audience and i urge all these northern influencers all of you people should start speaking in your language no can they speak english for us we that understand what you're saying we interpret uh -huh. to the southerners more than use house so that you can reach a massive audience in your place so that you will stop the campaign of hate and tribalism because now now they affect the most that rice and pepper stew on at the chop before we a common man a common northerner can afford now it's not affordable again because everything is expensive rice is expensive granite oil is expensive pepper is expensive so how do you want to eat highest number of out of school children is in the north highest number of poverty is in the north yet when it's time for elections they come and tell you to do tribalism to do vote your religion tell you that the worst muslim is better than the best christian all those where are those people who were deceiving you people with all those rhetorics before where are they nowhere to be found they have all run away and left you to your feet hunger insecurity poverty suffering but after four years they will surface again and tell you ah don't vote this person this one is not your brother that one is not your brother vote your brother no matter how bad he is now you have two of your brothers there muslim muslim there how have we benefited you so it's good to see that they are using their own mouth now to preach to themselves and the elders are going around the marketing apc the cultic party tinubu and buhari is a nice thing to see what a time to be alive so i said let me show you guys thanks for watching and god bless you